this bag right here has surprised me in so many ways. The packaging, the color, my review of it. If you're interested, stay tuned for the Michael Kors large Brooklyn shoulder bag. Hello everyone, my name is Andrea, if you're new here, and if you're not, welcome back, and thanks for joining me in the babe cave today. Today I have not an unboxing because you've seen it. <laughs> the Brooklyn large shoulder bag in the color purple, yes I know, crazy. I've never owned a purple bag, so it's a first for me, but there was just something about this bag. So I ordered this off of Poshmark and it was a really great deal. Uh, I could tell by the condition, like, they took care of this bag. <laughs> but anyway, I received it in kind of an unusual way <laughs> in a giant noodle, udon noodles <laughs> box, which is fine. You know, I reuse boxes like anyone else. But it was also, you know, wrapped really nice. But then what I didn't really like is it had this kind of like pillow stuffing inside the bag and in the box. And the only reason I don't like this as a stuffing is because it can get caught in your zipper of your bag. So I wouldn't suggest putting pillow stuffing. I would use air paper or grocery bags. I mean, I guess any of it could be caught, but this definitely snags in a zipper but anyway like I said it's it's a gorgeous bag I've never owned this color and I never owned the Brooklyn bag and it's in that gorgeous great Barney bag color <laughs> and it's almost as big as Barney I believe <laughs> has these gorgeous grommets on the shoulder strap I've used this for several days and let me tell you this bag right here and put it in the shot is heavy it's heavy with all my things and it. it's almost six pounds with my stuff in it and I thought about putting an organizer in it and the speedy 30 organizer does fit in this but it made it even heavier of a bag so if you're ever in the the mood to shop for one of these hobo brooklyn bags just beware of it when you start filling it up because it's enormous <laughs> uh, just be ready for it to be heavy but it's a nice shoulder drop it has such gorgeous features it has the silver hardware on it the tassel is really pretty with the silver chain. Has little grommets on all the little ends of the tassel. Uh, no feet on the bottom. It also came with a thin crossbody strap, which I will never use. Um, but still very nice. You know, if you wanted to carry a big giant Barney bag as a crossbody, you can. <laughs> but I will not. Uh, it's a very good shoulder drop. It's nice and slouchy, so the drop can be up to like 14. I'll just show you real quick. See, 14 there. And the size is big. I'm kind of surprised I ordered it. Yes, a big bag. I wanted to try it out because I've always been interested in the Louis Vuitton delightful PM or MM and I'll pop up a picture up here that it's a hobo bag and I've always liked the look of it but I wanted to try a different bag that was affordable that to see if I even would enjoy a bag like that slouchy 
you know, no structure, you know, just to, to feel it out. And I'll give you my thoughts at the end of this video, whether I want to buy that Louis Vuitton or just say, no, it's not for me. So the size of this bag is about 14 by 12 or 13 height. And depth, it fits so much. <laughs> It's, you know, roughly at the bottom is four, but then it expands out to like six or seven. And if you're like me at all, if you have a big bag, you feel like you need to put more in it. Bad idea. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I showed you the grommets even on the side. The detailing and the softness of this bag is really really nice quality this this bag has zero corner wear if I can get it in the shot here um, I don't know how because this thing is so big you'd think you'd bang it around or something <laughs> it has all my things in it like I said I've been carrying it to see what I think of it I'll give you a little spin here it's a pretty, you know, purple color. It reminds me of Barney. I'll pop a picture in case you don't know who Barney is. But yeah, um, my first purple bag. I've gifted my daughter. She likes the, the lilac lavender, but I wanted to try this, this color. But a little bit about this one. Again, here's the shoulder strap. So cool. This, the strap really, and all these little details are amazing. I didn't know this part about it. It has a zipper right here. And I just put, you know, some gum and a mirror in it. So I'm going to kind of show you what I put inside of it. And then I'll weigh it at the end of taking everything out. So you'll know the weight of this bag. But it is such a pretty pebbled leather. There, There is absolutely nothing wrong with this bag. And I don't know, I got it for a steal. It has the silver hardware in there, which I like the silver with that purple. I've been using it so things get thrown around in here. <laughs> so I'll just kind of start pulling stuff out that I have used. Business card holder, pin, little battery charger. Used my big giant Betsy Johnson wallet, cause well, it has purple in it and it's giant itself <laughs> so it fits perfectly in this bag and I like all the flowers on this wallet it is super nice for Betsy Johnson I pulled off the little leather tab that goes to this it has the cards and the Apple air tag I put in my Dooney and Burke large framed kiss lock basically my lipsticks and chapsticks in here of course I had to throw in Fanta <laughs> with a purple bag. Wet ones, more wet ones. Again, overfilling this bag, bad idea. <laughs> uh, this is my little Titanic bag that I have now reusing it for floss picks. <laughs> yeah, you can use these little baggies if you get one from Coach or something for whatever else little pouches like that. I also put my Dooney and Burke wristlet, gum, butter rum, lifesavers and band-aids and that kind of stuff in there. So that, I'm not done. My little deodorant, my keys, and of course my phone would be in there but I'm recording on it. Once I get everything out of here, I'll show you the inside of this bag. Then I actually used the key leash in here and put my parents keys and then I added for safety I added some mace spray so and this will not go off in your purse because you have to lift this up and then push it so this is a, a handy little thing to carry around for safety I just put my daughter gave me this little cat. I thought it was cute. It has the silver hardware with the, the cute little charm on it. It's getting lighter, folks. <laughs> then next I put in my little Dollar Tree 
coin purse. That's all my change. It is now empty. So Michael Kors bags, some of them, I guess, have a lot of organization, and this one is no exception. I'll show you the inside here of this giant Barney mouth. It has the zipper, and then it, um, below the zipper, it has two, two pockets underneath the zipper. Here's the Michael Kors tag. And then on the other side, it has more organization in there. Like, there's two small ones on the side pockets and then one middle, bigger slot right there. So the organization is amazing. And then below that is more. I don't know if you can see it. Let me turn this way. There's more slots, three more slots for organization. So it is super pocket friendly. No problems with the zipper, smooth zipper. So it is empty, 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 empty. And it has a little tail you just gotta tuck in here. When I got this box, I thought it was heavy. <laughs> and I thought, why is it so heavy? I ordered, you know, a, a bag and I knew what was gonna be in it, but I was like, why is it this heavy? just in this box <laughs> because it is such good quality leather it's and it's got all these grommets you know all this adds to the weight all these metal hardwares all that adds so empty this weighs roughly two and a half pounds empty I mean but and it's super slouchy so if you like slouchy bags hobo bags this is the bag for you i'm telling you it's it's gorgeous the leather's nice for me though i don't think it's the bag for me <laughs> so yeah i just it's too big i'm definitely not used to purple but i was adapting with the purple so i actually the purple doesn't bother me it's just the size for, for me and what i want in a bag is is so big <laughs> so I'll probably be moving this along but I at least know now sometimes I buy affordable bags that are similar shapes to some other bags that I may want to try and let me know if you do the same thing because it, it, it pays to research and try out a bag before you actually buy a more expensive bag <laughs> If anyone's interested out there, I'm, I'm gonna put this little baby up for sale and literally there is no, no wear on it. And it's super squishy, you know, nice shoulder drop. Just be careful if you fill it up because it will weigh you down. <laughs> so anyway, I uh, hope you have enjoyed my little review slash what's in my bag reveal of the Michael Kors Brooklyn. And they make other styles with all these grommets. And so I may look for another one that's much smaller. <laughs> but for now, I just wanted to show you this one and my review of it. And I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Purple.